Hi, my name is Tom Patton. I'm a senior program manager on the Dynamics AX development team. And today I'm going to show you a few of the new features that we're introducing in Dynamics AX 2012. What we've noticed as we've talked to customers and partners uh, over the planning for, for this release is that a lot of time is spent uh, in our customers' world uh, managing the transition between the structured world of business processes and compliance that we manage within the Dynamics AX environment and the less structured world of collaboration and productivity tools in Microsoft Office. So what we've done in this release is made it a little easier for uh, customers to deal with this changing uh, environments between these between these two modes of working and I'll show you a few examples where this can be applied first let's look at a budgeting scenario uh, as you formulate your budget uh, numbers for the for the next annual period uh, there's a lot of planning going on a lot of reasoning about the numbers a lot of, of sharing and collaboration and it's uh, natural to do this within the Microsoft Excel uh, tool rather than uh, anywhere else. It's the most natural place for people to uh, perform these actions. So let's take a look at how we can use Microsoft Excel to perform this action in AX 2012. I'll start by showing you here in the rich client uh, the budget transactions that I've started. So here are all my draft budget register entries. I've already entered these in previously using uh, Microsoft Excel, but what I want to show you here is just that there are quite a few different entries, and each of these entries contains allocations for different amounts of money across different accounts uh, and different time periods. For example, if I look at one of these entries in particular, my training adjustment that I'm currently working on, you can see that we have $400 per month uh, allocated with $800 in the last period here. Now let's switch over to Microsoft Excel where I've been doing this work and take a look at what this information looks like in that environment. Here is uh, a spreadsheet with that same information on it. So here I can see my original baseline budgets. I can see the amendments that I'm currently making uh, to those budgets. I can see via a standard Excel calculation here the total of those two uh, combined, and I can track how those numbers are changing. So this spreadsheet gives me a good uh, uh, canvas to reason about the changes that I'm making as we go through this process. So in this scenario, I've sat down with my team and realized that we want to increase our investment in our training budget. So we're going to send an additional uh, person along on the same training regiment that we've allocated for uh, one time already. So I'm just going to double my training amendment that I've uh, started making here from $2,400 to $4,800. And I'm going to publish these changes back to Dynamics AX using the new ribbon interface that's included right in Dynamics AX uh, to make that change. Now a little detail about what's going on here. At this point, I'm reading the latest real-time information out of the system, so I make sure I'm operating on the current numbers, and I'm sending back securely using my uh, uh, identity and the role-based security capabilities in Dynamics AX those, those changes so that they can be audited and then subject to the budgetary control capabilities in Dynamics AX. Let's just switch back into the Dynamics AX client and verify that our changes made, made it over here. So as we saw before, we had $400 uh, per period here. And if I just refresh my client view here, you can see indeed that, those, that the doubling of that number has been reflected in the individual period allocations here. So that's one scenario where we see our customers switching between these two worlds. Let's take a look at another that is dealing with communication to our customers or our partners or our vendors within the outside of our organization. Frequently, we want to do this using Microsoft Office uh, tools. And what I'll show you now is how we can use those same familiar tools like Microsoft Word to build the communication structure that we want to send out to our partners and customers and then include the business data from Dynamics AX in those communications. Let's have a look at Microsoft Word. So here what you'll see is I've done most of the work to build out a quotation template that I want to send my uh, prospects when I want to uh, uh, provide them a quote for uh, items and services. And what you can see here is that in each of these uh, cells, we can see that I've already associated the business data with, um, with this location in the document. And this is very easy to do. You just locate the field of information within AX, and here you can see I have all of the 
information relevant to quotations presented in the field chooser here, I can take something, for instance, the expiration date, and I just drag it into my document and drop it where I want that business data to be replaced. Once I'm complete with the template design process, I just save this document, which will put it back into my SharePoint site, and now that document is available in my application. So in this instance, let us move to the sales and marketing um, module and open up my open quotations list page. I can see here all of the quotations that I'm uh, engaged with. And if I choose one of these, for instance, if I'm working with basketball stadium prospect and I want to send them a quotation, I just come up to this generation button and I can see all of the documents that are living out on SharePoint that are relevant for this task. I'll choose standard quote, the document we were just uh, designing. And what you can see here is that my expiration date, my um, information about the salesperson, my customer information and their address, the quotation uh, number here has all been replaced in this document and is now ready to be sent out uh, via email or via mail uh, to my prospect. So this is the second scenario where we see the world of productivity tools and documents and collaboration of Microsoft Office coming together nicely with the uh, business processes that we automate within Dynamics AX 2012. For more information on this feature and the many other features that we've added in this release, please check out our product page. Thanks.